In this video, I will be setting up Nginx Reverse Proxy and OpenVPN to serve websites from servers behind the firewall. So let's have a look at the setup. So we have publicly accessible server running Nginx and OpenVPN server. And then we have server which is behind the firewall. Uh, in this case, I have installed another web web server and node red so we can have a look here so we've got node red locally running on this ubuntu box and we have another nginx server just serving a website and in this case this is remote server so let's start with setting up the nginx reverse proxy i have connected to my remote server and first thing to do is to install deny host since this is publicly accessible server it's always a good idea to start with that so once that's installed hopefully i won't lose my connection and it looks good so the next step would be to install nginx once that is done we'll test the nginx website let's see if it is accessible created temporary dns entry and voila is working so far so good so now let's have a look at configuring it and if I remember correctly it would be in DC Nginx and we need to go in sites enabled let's move the default config file away and let's create a new one and it looks like nano is not installed so let's install nano And I have pre-prepared a config. So let's have a look at the config. So the first part is that it's running on port 80. It's logging the access. It's using the default server name. And this first location, the root location, will actually serve the website on a server itself this first one will actually serve the website on the remote server and the second one will serve the node red so let's save the config and restart the nginx service Okay, let's just double check that the website still works and it does okay the next step is to install the openvpn and I've done it before and it is not very painful but it's still quite a bit of process so I actually found on github someone's created a really nice easy install script so we'll actually let's just not download it in there so let's just remove that and 
but just download it in here. So let's ch change the script to be executable. And let's run it. I'm going to leave everything as defaults except for encryption. So I'm going to speed up the process. I'm going to make it super quick and this will be the name of the client certificate and let's let the setup do its job and get the VPN server running okay that's done let's have a look at where our certificate is and I think it is in root directory root home directory there we go the next step let's set up the host which is behind the firewall and First thing we need to do is download the certificate. Here we go. Let's copy it over to the host box. And that's done. Let's have a look. Yep, there's our certificate. And now let's install the OpenVPN client. Next step is to navigate to the directory where the OpenVPN certificate or setup file is. In which this case, it's on the desktop. Let's start the uh, OpenVPN client using the OpenVPN config file. Now test. Let's test if it worked. Here we go. We're getting responses from our remote uh, public public facing server. Before we test if the reverse pro proxy is working, let's just have a quick look at the OpenVPN script again. So let's execute it again. And this time it will know that the VPN is already installed and we can create additional user certificates. Call this one. And the certificate was created in the following directory then if we go to the openvpn config folder and open ipp.txt file we can see which client certificate and which IP address was assigned to it and it will always assign 
this IP address to this client so you can have multiple servers and you can keep a track what IP address they will have and now let's have a quick look at why is it important to install deny hosts on publicly available servers especially basically if you have SSH connection open to the world why is it important to install deny hosts so what deny host does is any attempts on brute forcing your login on SSH it will block those IP addresses so let's have a look if there are any IP addresses in the blacklist it is located in etc hosts dot deny and actually have a cd we go no no and here we go from the start of this video we have one two three four five six seven different IP addresses already blacklisted also if you want to whitelist for example if you have your own static IP address then you need to add it in this file using the following format all colon space and the IP address And now let's have a look if the reverse proxy setup actually worked. So now I'm on my host machine and let's test for starters the default website served by reverse proxy server and that seems to be working fine and then app and as you can see welcome to nginx this is remote server and that's the website on the web server behind the firewall and also let's just take that off no dread and voila and this also is hosted on a server behind the firewall and i haven't got any ports open it's just VPN connection to the server and to the reverse proxy server and now it's accessible to the world Thank you for watching. I will be adding all the commands and URLs in description